Hi everyone, my name is Rani and I am currently living in Vienna, Austria. Today I have three questions about salvation and I also have three answers that I found in His Word and I hope and pray that it will help us and guide us to answer those questions and hopefully it would lead us to the faith of salvation of, to everyone. So before we start, I invite everyone in a short prayer. Father God in heaven, thank you so much Lord for your love and thank you for your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, for your grace. Thank you for the power of your blood on the cross, for the forgiveness of our sins that give us a new life and give us a new spirit. And I pray, O oh Holy Spirit, that you help us and guide us, O oh God, as to hear this truth, as to hear this message. I pray that you will enlighten their hearts and minds, O oh God, and they would understand your plan to every one of us. And I pray, Lord, that uh, you will give them the faith of salvation that comes from you. Extend your grace, O oh Lord. I know that apart from Lord, you, Lord, we can do nothing. It's not about us, O oh God. But we bow down before you, Lord, that you will help us and guide us, O oh God, as we continue to study your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the first question that I would um, share to you is that why do we need salvation? Uh, we need salvation. It's because of the disobedience of Adam and Eve when God commanded, commanded them not to eat of the fruit because when they eat of it, they will, they will surely die. We can read it in Genesis chapter 2. But what happened to make the story short? They eat it. That's the cause that the glory of God depart from them. So that's why man are totally depraved. Man were totally corrupted. So there is no good that God can see to the man. Because in the first place, God created man so that the human can glorify God. So that all our works can give glory to our Father. That's why He made us in like in the likeness of His in His likeness and in His image. But because of sin that causes death, spiritually death. That's why in Isaiah 59, 1 to it says, The hands of the Lord is not too short to save us or his ears that too dull that he could not hear us but because of our iniquities because of sin that separates us from the love of God and he couldn't um, save us because the glory is away from us so that's the number one problem so that the, the the secret question is that what is the way of salvation you know, that's a good thing because when man separated from God, God also has a solution. And in fact, the first is that he gave the law, or Mosaic law, but it not function well. So God has given another way in which in John 3.16, it says here, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Because that's the only solution that God can give us a new life through His Son. So the Father, He sacrificed His one and only Son. He gave it to us as a sacrifice, as an atonement, so that the blood of Christ will pay for all our sin and will cut the, the course of what Adam and Eve did on the Garden of Eden. Through Christ, He fulfilled the law. And through Christ, when we believe and accept our Lord Jesus Christ, our personal Savior, He will give us a new life and He will save us. And it says, in, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes, it's not whoever do good works, or it's because um, you are belong to this religion or to this group, you will not perish. But it's just said here that whosoever believes will not perish but have an everlasting life. 
God only wanted us, our, our faith, our belief, our trust as we surrender to Him. Because man separated from God because of the pride of life, the pride of man. So God wanted us to surrender ourselves, to bow down, and to give back all to our Lord Jesus Christ as we accept Him as our personal Savior, as we accept the offer of our Father for the for the forgiveness of our sin, for our Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and He will forgive us, and He will give us a new life. And that is only the way that we can be part to His kingdom, and that we can uh, connect again to the Father, and He will give us a glory that comes from Him. And in John 14, 6 says, I, uh, Jesus Christ said, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except it by through me. There's no other way that we can go back, we can reconnect it to our Father, or we can uh, ask for His glory, but only our Lord Jesus Christ when we believe in Him. It's not because we have a lot of money, it's not because uh, we have everything, but it's because we have nothing and we are all sinners and God wanted us to surrender our life just to to entrust to him because there's nothing that we can do because we are spiritually dead so the or in order for us to to be alive again is that just to accept and believe our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and I assure you he will give us a new life because there is power in the blood of Lord Jesus Christ who shed on the cross. And if you want to accept our Jesus Christ, I have a short prayer here. I would like to uh, invite you to pray this prayer and make it uh, uh, as your personal prayer to God. So I will lead you. So wherever you are right now, I just want you to encourage to to pray this prayer you can follow me and make it as your personal prayer to the Lord I know that our God is listening and wherever you are because our God is powerful our God is everywhere and he can forgive all our sin and this is the only solution so you can follow me in this short prayer dear Lord Jesus Christ I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. Thank you for your blood on the cross. I turn from my sins and I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to surrender, trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. You may glorify to my life to the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you answer if you pray those prayer heartily, I do believe that God will forgive all our sins, your sins, and He will give us a new life. Now, let us go to the third question. What is the benefit of 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 salvation of the uh, the death of Lord Jesus Christ so first is that um, there we are already forgiven for all our sin and even the course the death of from Adam and now we have new life and then we have now the Holy Spirit who is living in us and we can now worship our God. We can now con we can now pray to our God. We can now worship Him. We can now glorify Him, because God already, our Lord Jesus Christ already paid for all our sin. And remember, the Holy Spirit also is now in us. And in John, in John chapter um, one verse uh, twelve says, it's also 
uh, one of the benefit also. But to all who did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who are born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So when Nicodemus asked Lord Jesus Christ, how can a man can see the kingdom of God? And Jesus Christ answered, unless you will be born again, unless you will be born in uh, 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 water and spirit. So when you receive our Lord Jesus Christ, our personal Savior, there is a regeneration happen to you. There is a new life that God has given to you. And that is the promise of our God. So, so I, I hope and I pray, pray that, that um, this, this short, short message, message will, will help you, will help, help us to, to understand, understand and to the starting, starting point that we can walk and in, in, in the, the will of the Lord. Because that's, the, the, that's the, 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 the first plan of God is that uh, we, we can, can glorify, glorify Him in every, every work that we do. So that's why in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, we are now the masterpiece of Lord Jesus Christ. We are the workmanship of Lord Jesus Christ. And he, paid, he, he sacrificed for us. He offered his life to sacrifice so that we, for, for good works, so that we can glorify the Father, we can glorify the God. And the good thing also is that our Lord Jesus Christ Give us the Helper and the Holy Spirit who is in us, where we can abide in Him, and He will help us to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we will walk according to the will of the Lord. And we can share the Gospel. The time will come, you will also do what I am doing, that you will share and you will proclaim the goodness of Lord Jesus Christ. So I hope and pray that everyone is doing well, and I also encourage if wherever you are right now, um, I encourage you to find a fellowship, Christian fellowship, where you can go and have fellowship with them. If you are in Austria, in Vienna, we have some, um, a lot, uh, not many, but we have some few Christian fellowship here in Austria. And you can also search in, in Google, Actually, our, our building is also in Copriter Gasse, 22 in Meidling. If, you're, if you have time, you can also visit us. There's also in, in the 10th District, Baptist Church. There is a CIG. There is a VCF. There is VCC. There's a lot of Christian community in Vienna, Austria. So if you receive our Lord Jesus Christ, it's better if you find some Christians are brothers and sisters in the Lord because after you receive Lord Jesus Christ you are now we are now the children of God and we are brothers and sisters in the Lord have a nice day and let us continue to shine the light that comes from God let's pray Father God in heaven thank you so much Lord for your love and your mercy and your grace and through our Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross through his blood the forgiveness of our sin thank you God that you never change, and even through your Holy Spirit, through your promise, Lord, to give us life. Lord, I pray that you will help us, O oh Lord, to, to grow, that we will walk in the Spirit, that we will walk according to your will. Help us, O oh God, that you will continue to strengthen us, O oh God, in every situation in our lives. Continue to become a blessing to others. We entrust to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless everyone.